In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your email account from Office 365 and turn on email alerts when your IP camera or any other camera goes offline. So the first step is to go into the setup menu and network email. Here are, I pretty much have the credentials already entered in and the server info. So for an Office 365 email address I found directions on uh, Office's own website and here's the URL. It tells you what you need to configure in there. Basically the more important part is here it says uh, your SMTP server has to be smtp.office365 port 587 and TLS has to be enabled. So one of the mistakes I made when I was testing this before I was using SSL. Make sure you're using TLS and enter your SMTP Office 365 address your port number is 587 the email address complete email address uh, over here as a username your password and then the sender should also be the same email address that's configured on the top subject line you can change it if you want to you can click attachment if you will be planning on using this snapshot feature in this case of an IP camera or an HTCVI camera going offline it doesn't matter because when it's going offline it's not going to capture anything it's not going to get the first uh, few seconds before the event happened either in the receiver you can enter multiple email addresses uh, I would not put in too many because if office find thinks uh, for some reason its algorithm thinks you're using it to spam other people it'll block this email from going through so I would just leave it the sender as the receiver here so same email address as uh, the username as a sender and as a receiver the interval is uh, if there are too many motion events happening, let's say for example you want to limit them, you can set the interval here uh, and then health enable if you want to get uh, health email alerts from time to time. Um, and this tutorial focuses only on IP cameras going offline or HTCVI cameras going offline. Let's say somebody disconnects them or the camera just goes shot or your power box goes out or your POE switch goes out this is a perfect example of what to do to safeguard against that so you're not without security at your premise so uh, enable the email once you've entered all the settings correctly use the email test feature it says you have to save first wait a second use the email test and it says test succeeded so let's proceed to the next step which is to configure the IP camera going offline. Go into event, alarm. The NVR will have this option for IPC offline alarm. Under channel, I'm going to configure channel 6. You can do this for all of them one at a time. If you copy these settings, just be aware that uh, if you decide to configure any of these other options here, they'll copy over and it'll cause issues. So I would say I'm only using this for a text alarm email coming to me to notify me that my camera's gone out. My camera number six, I'm going to say send an email. So what this does is it uses the email function we just specified in the step before. And I want a buzzer also so that I can hear from the internal speaker located inside of the NVR if a camera has gone offline and I'm in the office I can hear it and also a log to be kept so again send email buzzer log make sure this is checked for channel and which channel you're doing this for channel 6 press OK and then the next step is to basically go and test if uh, you disconnect your camera does it cause a buzzer and does it cause an email to be sent out so I've already tested this before these settings and I'll show you here under the log on my previous tests I did with today's date at about 2.47 p.m. it picked up an offline alarm and if I go into my email account I can actually see that uh, at 11.47 I got an email saying offline. I was testing some other things as well so um, like for example 
the mail test we just did while making the video you can find it here and then the offline alarm can be found over here you may find that the times are a little bit different on this left hand side this is Pacific time on the right hand side it's Eastern Standard Time I'm actually looking at a DVR from the uh, East Coast here I hope you find this video helpful thank you for watching